Good afternoon, everyone. This is Howard. It's Monday, January 10th, 2011. We're into the second week now of the new year. And I'm not here to keep reminding you about where we're at in the week and week after week. You know, I know I kind of been up on the goals and the resolutions and uh, really just keeping track of our time and reflecting on what we're doing. So I have three points I want to give to you all today. One is reflection. The second note is going to be influence. The third point I want to bring up to you guys is self-importance. Now, the reason I bring up, you know, that we're in the second week of 2011 is to reflect on how the first week already went for you guys. I know the last video I touched a little bit on it, but now ask yourself, how did it go? Look back and say, or look back and ask yourself, what went really well? You know, what was really enjoyable? And what could I have done even better? Not what was good or bad, what was right or wrong. Okay, because essentially there is no good or bad, right or wrong. The greater universe does not distinguish, it does not discriminate between large or small. It just is, right? And so is our lives. But what you can do is focus on what's going very well for you and what you want to do even more of. Okay, it's great to acknowledge this didn't go well, you know, but I can do this better next time. So keep that in mind. The next point I want to bring up to you is uh, influence. You know, as you go through and you reflect, on your days, on your weeks, you'll understand what kind of habits you practice every single day and how that influences your thoughts, your actions, as well as other people in your life too. Now we have a lot of family, some of us do. Uh, we might have kids and we might have closer friends than family, right? Everybody has their own thing going on, but you are an influence to even strangers in your life. Now think about this for a second. Have you ever been driving down the road and you see somebody jogging and you think to yourself, wow, I would love to start jogging again or wow, I would love to start making exercise a habit in my life. Of course you have. Maybe not in the, in the context of exercising, but you've seen somebody and thought, wow, how cool, whether it was, I would love to do my hair like that or, you know, ooh. I want to get tattoos that look like him or her. Or, wow, I don't know. Look at their clothes that she's wearing. I love those pants. So you get the idea. That person had no idea that you were even looking at them. Probably. So how many people do you think see you every day that you have no idea that you're influencing? And when you can reflect on what behaviors and habits that you practice, you'll start understanding how much of an influence can be as opposed to how you may be influencing right now. So when you reflect, you get to take into account, you know, empowering habits and disempowering habits. At the end of the day, before you go to bed, I've been journaling at night and I get to reflect on what's been working and what I can do even more of. I get to understand what were my habits? How do I feel right now before I go to bed? Do I feel excited? You know, do I even, do I want to stay up even later because I want to get even more out of the day? And how do I want to feel when I get up in the morning? How do I feel when I get up in the morning? I'll tell you right now, one of the rituals I do is I jump out of bed. I do my 10 power moves. I go through a guided visualization where I close my eyes and I think about how I want the day to go. And I get as clear as possible. Even long-term goals of where I want to be six months, 12 months, three years from now. And then I go through some mantras of stating, I am persistent, I am dedicated, I am passionate, I am unconditional love, okay? A list of I am's and I develop three beliefs that I am committed to adopting and incorporating into my life, into my daily practice. Three beliefs, three. So beliefs are really, really empowering. We'll talk about those on a different day. So now you understand influence, you understand reflection, and next is going to self-importance. A lot of times we might not feel that we're that important. We know that we're here. We might know that we're a mom or a dad or a sister or a brother and a son. But do you really remind yourself of how important you really are in your being here on earth every single day? We live in a world that's interconnected. That's, <laughs> excuse me, that's interdependent. Everybody functions off of everybody else functioning. 
and if the world just kind of started dying off, then what would happen? Who knows? God, source, universe, infinite intelligence might have other, some other greater purpose for it happening. But to keep to the point, you are just as important as the next person in your life. Nobody is more important than anybody else. And we're all here to influence each other to serve in the greater good, to thrive, to live a great life, to be happy, to live fulfilled. So I hope you can take those, run with them, implement them in your life, make it a daily practice, a daily ritual. Get excited, live for today, live for the now. Namaste, thank you for showing up. Please comment below, let me know the results that you've been producing in your life. Bye-bye.